Well, after years of talking about it, Rhode Island <laughs> finally did it. We have a new license plate, and as you can see, it's still a wave. The updated plate design was one of five finalists that Rhode Islanders voted for online. State leaders saying today more than 50% of people voted for the new version of the wave. And new tonight, 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts spoke with people about how they feel about the change. She joins us now outside of the DMV in Cranston with what they had to say. Amanda. Well, for 25 years, this has been our license plate, but now there's a new wave in town or waves, I should say, and you have to look closely to see the differences, and that's why people's opinions are split. Out with the old and in with the new. The state unveiling Wednesday the pick for a new license plate design. And I didn't think this one was going to win because it looks so similar. The design by Willem Van Lanker of South Kingstown features smaller blue waves and an anchor. Of the more than 300,000 votes that were cast, the state says this design got roughly 50% of the vote. I picked the plate that had the Newport Bridge on it. It had like the nice sunset, had a nice bridge. My friend goes to Salve, so we're always in Newport, so I was like, why not pick that one? And I think the other choices were kind of plain. There was a lot of yellow. Wasn't a big fan of the yellow, though. So this is the one that was picked? Why would we pick that one when it looks almost the same as the one that we already have? Others not as bothered by the choice. I like it. it kind of yeah, looks, yeah, it doesn't look much different though. I like that it's all blue now though. But wish more of the state was represented. You know, you have the coast obviously, but there's also like Barville and stuff. Like Rhode Island's wilderness. Van Lanker said the five waves represent the state's five counties. I do think it looks more like a shark fin swimming through the water than a wave. So you won't be getting this one? No, I'm keeping my 4th of July one. And while it was the top choice of Rhode Islanders among the five total designs, some will need some time to come around to it. I'm going to wait till the last day to get mine changed unless they have to come to my door and bring it to me. I definitely will wait to put that one on. Now the new plate design rolls out later this year. In Cranston, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.